My name is Duncan Emerson. I'm the Senior Director for Syndicated Insights and Analysis at First Word Reports. I'm here today speaking with Francois Pagnini, who's the practice lead for immunology and neurology within First Word Report business. Today I'm speaking to Francois about some of the key findings from the forthcoming KOL Insight Rheumatoid Arthritis Report. So Francois, we all know Zeljans has been available in the US for several years, but many more oral JAK inhibitors are in development. What will this mean for the rheumatoid arthritis market? Um, that's right. Can, um, Pfizer's Zelgens tofacitinib uh, received approval from the US FDA in November 2012, and that marked the arrival of the first oral JAK inhibitor to be approved as a therapy for RA. Now, this drug is also marketed in various other countries, such as Japan, Switzerland, and Russia, but it was refused approval by the EMA in April 2013. Now, despite the EMA's refusal, a plethora of JAK inhibitors are currently being evaluated. Um, and following a comprehensive phase three program, Eli Lilly's newer JAK inhibitor, baricitinib, uh, which preferentially inhibits JAK1 and JAK2, has been submitted for approval in the US and EU. Then there's Astellas' peficitinib, which is a JAK3 inhibitor, which is undergoing phase three trials in Japan. And then we also have AbbVie's ABT494, which is a JAK1 inhibitor. Uh, also in phase three trials. So m many, many oral JAK inhibitors. Um, we all know that Zaljan's uptake hasn't been as quick as most people expected, and that was mostly due to its cost and payer restrictions. However, KLs are generally optimistic that with the arrival of baricitinib and other JAK inhibitors, the cost of these agents will decline over time. So could these agents be used at an earlier stage in the treatment of RA? Um, that, that's what KOLs are saying. In the short term, JAK inhibitors are likely to slowly move up the treatment paradigm. Um, in the long term, KOLs believe that these agents could even be used post-methotrexate therapy. That, that's before anti-TNF therapy. So as you mentioned, Eli Lilly's baricitinib is in phase three development, um, and it's, it's likely to be the next JAK inhibitor to be launched. Uh, should we be excited about this JAK inhibitor? Uh, Given baricitinib's strength and clarity of the phase three data, it is perhaps you know, unsurprising that leading KOLs interviewed by First Word for the report are really excited about this JAK inhibitor. Um, this agent has generated positive data from four phase three trials. Uh, the experts specifically mentioned baricitinib's radiographic data as well as the head-to-head -head trial versus Humira. Uh, that's the RA beam trial. Uh, as important outcomes. Another important consideration is that baricitinib is a more specific JAK inhibitor than Zelgens. Um, as I previ previously mentioned, it, it inhibits JAK1 and 2 receptors. Uh, and KOL suggests that this may have important safety benefits. Um, in fact, some experts comment that although the side effects seen with baricitinib mirror the ones seen with Zelgens, the incidence of these effects is deemed to be less with baricitinib. Okay, Farantar, thanks very much for taking the time out to speak to me. Uh, to everybody that's listening to this recording, please uh, click the link below if you'd like more information about this report. And we thank you for taking the time to listen.